So welcome to the Blank Slate Garden. I'm Adam and I've got Dad here today and we're going to check out these uh, lemon cypress cuttings that we took off of a topiary down here um, about a month and a half ago and I know for sure that we've gotten one to root so we're going to check out the rest of these. Hopefully get them potted up and get this uh, fungus gnat magnet out of here. Um, a lot of these didn't make it but We've got uh, a lot here in the front that are still really green, so I think those will be probably the best ones. We're going to get them pulled out gently, hopefully, uh, get them in water, get them potted, and then kind of see what our success rate was. So We use the Hormonin 3, which is pretty aggressive rooting hormone, and uh, I know it worked once, so we'll see if it worked more times. I think this one here in the front is probably the best. I'm using my wife's little tiny shovels, which I made fun of, and now I, uh, now I regret making fun of it because it's the perfect tool for the job. I'm afraid to pull too much. Ah, first try. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, that is impressive. That's crazy. So that is a fantastic root. So it looks like it didn't die at all at the very base. And as you go up, we've got that nice chartreuse color with lots of moisture in it still. And a crazy amount of roots. Um, this long one's got secondary roots on it, but we've got roots all the way around that base, it looks like. Um, normally you just have that one root. On, on this short of a period, you have just that one root coming off the side that might <coughs> start branching out. But this one has just got roots everywhere. Go ahead and get that cleaned off and we can kind of see what that root ball looks like. That's awesome. It's a $10 plant at the nursery. Huh? So this one did not take root. It was right next door to the one we just had. And it looks almost like it's kind of dying there at the bottom. Uh, I might leave it back in here and just see what happens, but... Um, Bummer on that one, I guess. Same with this guy right next to it. Nothing to talk about. Go right behind it. Nothing on this one, but it's still really green, so I'm going to leave that one in there. Maybe I just jumped the gun on him. These dead ones I'm going to take out. See, that one's... That one's got a little bit of pullback. So I'm gonna leave that one. This one's kinda hard. So I'm gonna actually dig around here and try to loosen it up. So I'm not completely just ripping roots. Yeah, that one's nothing. Put that in the... This one. really thought that would have a root. So far I'm one for about 20. Maybe it was this one. Oh, something just broke. Yeah, that one's got good roots. Look at that. This is awesome. So that is even better than the last one. It's got a whole crown of, and it actually you can tell where it, where it rooted way up on the stem. So this is all dead down here. And it rooted right under where the uh, 
the stems are with the actual leaves or cones or whatever they are. Not cones, but needles or whatever you call that. That's awesome. So we got two. That one looks too small to ever worry about. Ah, so that one just has, this is like the very first one I pulled a few weeks ago. It's just got those two roots there, but you can tell it's got a lot of that callus base right around where the roots are. Right here, it's kind of bubbled up almost, and it's shooting a root out right there. It's nice and it's not brittle at all, so it's it's got enough moisture. These things can dry out in a matter of 12 hours, so if you don't have a lot of uh, water in your in your pot with these lemon cypress, the, the tree's pretty much done or bush or whatever you call them. So this one's got a little bit of pullback. So that was two different ones and I was a little rough with them. This has one root. Actually two roots I guess we'll call that. But you can tell all the way down to the base it's it's green. Um, I think this is, oh no that's the stem. That's the old stem. So that's dead. It shot out a root right where the green base is. I don't like the chances for it, but we'll see. And this one right next to it, next to it has a little bit better root growth. A lot of small ones, and then a larger one down here. So it's going better than I thought. It's not like figs, but this one's got lots of nice root root growth. Uh, you can probably see it better on this side. Get some of the dirt off there. And again, it's just forming a. Uh, it's the 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 old stem is right here. Nothing's going on, and right at the base where the uh, where the green branches are, or still I left them on. That's where it's growing the roots. So maybe you don't need such a long stem in the soil. It's just right where the soil touches the spot where the last branches are might grow a uh, better root ball uh, nothing on that one looks like a good cutting though so I'm gonna and I actually I see it kind of bubbling up there at the base and that's where those roots are gonna um, come out of where they that, I think they call it the callus and it's it's actually calloused from from here to here so starting at the base here and on down it's dead starting right here and on up to even even a few branches up I can see it's it's a thicker um, base so it's kind of turning into a trunk so and it might have some small roots I can't I can't really tell though I'm gonna get that back in there get that out so that one's kind of got the same thing. I can tell there's a little bit of callus right there. And it's hard to tell if it's roots or dead branches on that one. See that one looks like it, or I thought it would have been a good one, but And again, this is the weird pot where I have sand at the bottom and peat moss on top of that for about an inch. So um, it's a hard, it's not a very controlled experiment, but I think definitely uh, as a rule, sand is better to, to use the, um, the rot factor with the peat moss is, is just exponentially larger. So this one has some small roots um, and it's got one dead branch there, which is fine, but again, these are, I bought plants not much larger than this for $12 at the nursery, so. Yeah, I think 
something snapped. It's got one one decent root right here. This one doesn't look very promising, but I'll stick it in anyway. Nothing on that. This one's got some pullback. Both of them do actually. Looks like it's oh, just broke something. Probably not the most uh, elegant way to pull these out. Nothing on that one, but there is a lot of callus. You can see it's kind of bubbled up, and you can see almost a, a, a dot or a couple of nodes on on the bottom there, and that's going to be a root here. And, Probably a week, I would say, but I don't know how educated that is as far as a guess. This looks like a real burly one. Yeah, this is a thicker cutting. And it's got really legit roots there. So... You can see how thick that, that branch was. So this is almost like the top of the, I don't know what it was actually. You've got this area on down, normal normal girth. And then uh, you, go, you go on down and it's almost like a carrot. It gets, it gets thick and then it's shooting roots off of really the whole way down. So that's a really good one. Oh, we've already got more than I thought we would have. This one looks Kinda dead, but it's got some purchase. It's got roots. It's not a not a lovely cutting, but <coughs> we'll see if it makes it. This one's a great cutting. I don't know how to get I guess I can get all the dirt off that way. Real nice bushy top, and the bottom has got roots almost all the way down the the, uh, the bottom of the stem. So it's already going to be a great plant. It's got a great root ball. Not a lot of a lot of stuff going on up top top, and it'll look nice in a pot quick, which is all we want. I don't know what this is. It's like some kind of weed, but I like it. Yeah, we should use that app to to see what it is. Here, I'll do it. I got it on my phone. Picture this. Let's see if I can get it. What do you think it is, Dad? What's your guess? Well, I'm I think even... it's probably a flower. I don't even know what to guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hairy bittercress, also known as shotweed, flickweed, lamb's crest, common bittercress. It's an edible as a bitter herb. Yeah. I don't know. We'll leave it for now. What do you think? Do you think that'll have one? Nope. Yeah, it's got a little kind of tiny, 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 tiny dot. In there, I don't know if you can see it right there. Just a tiny little nub of a root, so. Expected more from that one. We'll get these potted up now. Well, it looks like those two were together and just put it down this way. Yep, get some dirt in there. How would that be? It will...
be a little more over this way. How's that? Looks good. We can water it and it'll settle the soil. Yeah, that'll settle a while. Straighten them out. So that's one. Fifty more to go. Like I said, I bought these for ten dollars for uh, plants this size. So um, that's got to be like a couple months, right? So we got twelve plants out of that topiary cutting batch that we did um, about, about a month and a half ago, and there's more to come from the batch that we left back in there. We know there's callus on it. We're gonna get roots on them. There's no need to rush it. We've got. Um, $120 worth of the plants I would probably would have bought to make more topiaries with um, this summer. So um, it's kind of a nice thing to do on a rainy, cold day like today, and uh, really just an update as far as what we're doing in the gardens, which are all inside and behind me, as you can see. So thanks for watching the update, and uh, we'll have some more videos. We got a lot of big stuff coming soon, and um, we're really just waiting on weather at that at this point. Uh, it's going to be a new koi pond this year. It's going to be new, um, insane hedges and really big, different garden beds than we've done in the past. Um, well, like I said, a lot of it will be topiary kind of focused, or certain beds will be. So, so it was fun doing some gardening with Dad today, and uh, we'll hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.